Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Let's talk last night's Nick game because a couple notable things happened. Uh, it was a blowout victory for the Knicks. Final score of 118 to 88. A couple things that pop off out the box score. If we look at Obi Toppin, tied his career high with 20 points, second consecutive game in which he's done so. But look at that plus minus, plus 46 in 35 minutes. Shout out to Alec Burks, who came very close to it at plus 44 in 33 minutes. If we take a look here at Nick's stats via Twitter, best plus minus in a game since the 96 97 season. I believe that is when they first started recording uh, individual plus minuses. Obi Toppin is tied for atop the leaderboard of that for a Nick. Tied with two guys from January 3rd of 2010, Wilson Chandler and David Lee. Let's take a look at that box score. Let's see how many guys you guys remember from that Knicks team. Let's look at the Pacers real quick, though. Their starting lineup, Josh McRoberts, Roy Hibbert, Earl Watson, Luther Head, and Mike Dunleavy. They also had Solomon Jones, Brandon Rush, Travis Diener, A.J. Price, and Dante Jones off the bench. Here's the Knicks starting lineup. Uh, they had Jared Jeffries, Der uh, David Lee, Danilo Gallinari, Wilson Chandler, Chris Duhon off the bench, Al Harrington, Jonathan Bender, Marcus Landry, Jordan Hill, Nate Robinson, and Tony Douglas. Boy, are those some names from the past. As you see, the Knicks outscored the Pacers by 22 in the first quarter. 13 in the third quarter going on to win by 43 points and Lee and Chandler were both plus 46s in that game so Obi Toppin has now topped uh tied them for being atop the uh single game plus minus leader uh since they started recording it uh, I believe it's considered the play-by-play -play era, 96-97. Also, let me give a quick shout-out shout out to Emmanuel Quickly last night. 20 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. First Nick with a triple-double off the bench since Mark Jackson in 1991. So it's been 31 years since a Nick had a triple-double off the bench prior to Quickly. He's also the second youngest Nick to ever have a triple-double. Only behind Kenny Sears. Yes, the Magic are a very bad team. But it's good seeing the youth come through like that. Knicks only have three games remaining. Julius Randle is expected to miss those three games. Let's see what this youth can do and continue the positive momentum into next season. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.